Hi, today I will present you a thermostat that I bought last time. So I bought the Wave Eldrotronic Spirit Smart Radiator Thermostat Spirit Plus version. And here is the tutorial and something and review and you can watch it, you can read it about it and what is the problem? You can see three black adapters here and in my case there is a problem just because i have inner bulb something like this from hers and exactly i'm using this one so the inner valve is 28 millimeters diameter and there is a problem because most modern thermostats uh, exactly have diameter 30 millimeters here so I decided that I will look for the solution and because administration uh, doesn't allow to replace this set with something different from example a Danfoss set just because I will lose the warranty and in case of any failure issues, something like this, you know, damage, they will not pay money and they will not fix the problem. So I was looking for a solution and I found a video here and the guy is presenting this, see, and he has something like adapter for Hertz inner valve. It's in German language, but you can turn on subtitles. But I would like to show you something like this. And this is something that, you know, it's here in, in Poland, so I can buy it from Allegro, for example. And you need to look for exactly something like this, like an adapter for hairs, if you have exactly the inner valve from hairs. And he presented it, and I will then just show you. And here, uh, he is removing uh, the standard hairs thermostat like this, and he just mounted it. And just give me a second. Yeah, so he took that these two have 30 millimeters diameter, right? So he took one and two and he presented it how to do this. So, what he did. He removed the standard hair thermostat. Then he will put the adapter onto it like that, exactly this way. So he will use the hand, and this is very important. So you are using hands, and here, where my cursor is, you will use the key to mount it properly. So watch this carefully. So he's using hands, and watch exactly which keys he's using and where he is the key is you know a small rotation he and uh, it was here on the ex external uh, side right so now he's just mounting 30 millimeters diameter thermostat and voila that is all and the same for the bluetooth version of the thermostat so what I'm going to do, I just decided that I will buy and I already bought it, so three and tomorrow they will come to me. And then uh, beside this uh, thermostat, you need something like this, the USB stick uh, from Z-Wave to make it work. Um, most cases, um, those should work. Um, this one exactly, oh, takes this. 7 plus should work or uh, this one maybe i don't know which one we work correctly i suppose this one uh, we should work and this is very important because um uh, the usb stick is a kind of hub for your devices and uh, it is uh, very important how to use it so i already have something like this and i can, you can see this and this and it looks exactly the same as I presented in my browser, exactly this one. There you can see you have an integration here 
and here and here so you can bite and it's on polish amazon i don't know why i wasn't able to find it and you have the instruction inside of this and i'm going to present it something like this a piece of paper where you have the usb stick uh, guidance and yeah something like this exactly and this and they have the information how to use it and that is interesting uh okay so you can download uh, both pieces of software from the wave me how to change the frequency using the script so we can change this frequency that is interesting and characteristics technical data usb wave wireless transceiver um so we can change the characteristics of this usb stick anyway something like this in a so you have just to remove it and now uh, i'm going to present something like this and i'm using a proxmox and i have a home assistant in proxmox you can see it's here so what i need to do i need to put the usb stick into the proxmox machine so i already logged into the proxmox and if i will type sudo ls usb you will see the list of devices that are connected to the USB and USB hubs. And I'm going to put this USB dongle into my USB port and new device should appear. So let's see the new device one more time. And you can see we have LTX stick generation five and we have a ID. So this ID is very crucial. The highlighted one so what i'm going to do now i will switch back to the proxmox and i will select the home assistant virtual machine i will go to the hardware section and i will click on add a device then select usb device then use the usb vendor id and use this id and just click add and after that restart and reboot the server okay so home assistant is up and running and you can see it here and i will switch to console and command line is working so now the question is how to get into the home assistant of course you need to know the uh, URL, so I think that you already know how to get into. And I'm logging into my Home Assistant just like that. And now I need to put my two factor authentication code. So we will use this code here. Just give me a second, and I need to rerun my application. And here we go. I'm logged in. So I have a panel. Excellent, right? So what to do now? We did a pass through. So our USB stick, USB dongle should be visible here in Home Assistant. So go to settings, go to add-ons, click add-on store, search Z-Wave, and we have three options. Open the wave. It's deprecated. I do not recommend installing it. I already checked and it's outdated and it's not supported anymore. We have also advanced uh, interface user interface. So yeah, it's much more advanced than the basic one. And for a beginner user, I recommend to install just Z-Wave.js. So click here, click on install and wait. And after that, you will be able to use it properly. What you need to do now, after the installation, you will have to configure it. And here is the documentation. So you can read it. But what I really recommend is to go back to info and just click on start. 
and hit on edit configuration. And now you can see our device is recognized. This is our 0658-0200. This is the device, this is the ID that I presented in the command line. And leave everything as it is. And what you need to do, just scroll down a little bit and hit on save. Click it here. And that is all. And then go back to info one more time and click on start. And now you can see in the configuration, those entries are empty and they shouldn't be empty. So go to log and hit on refresh. And now if you will go to this, it will be empty. So what you need to do in this case, well, uh, you need to just restart the application just like that. And after the restart, it should auto generate those values into this configuration field. So now we need to wait a little longer and it should work i suppose it will and go to log now and you can see uh the one shot runner successfully stopped so now it should start and it should work and in the configuration there is no entry here so what to do now you need to go here and here is the documentation but it's good to do something like this if any of these keys are missing on startup the other one will auto generate one for you to generate a network key manually you can use the following script for example ssh add-on and you can use something like this to generate you can also use sites like this one to generate or create data so to we will open this in new website and this is our network key so those values are here and i do not understand why it doesn't work the way i because those values should be um generated so why i will try to stop it and we'll try to start it once again and it should work just because those values should be um auto generated as it's written here so that's really interesting four different security keys required to take full advantage of different inclusion methods that the wave js supports so you have legacy key access control key authenticated key and unauthentic unauthenticated key so it should be working. Um, the other one will auto generate for you. Um, but yeah, we'll try to go to info. And that's really interesting. Refresh. So it looks like it stopped. Go to settings one more time and add ons and Z Wave. And it now we'll try to start once again. And configuration and lovely now everything is auto generated so one two three four five this is very crucial step you need to be sure that you have those entries here so sometimes you need to just stop and start it and it will work so if we have those values here and we are sure that everything is working as expected and you can see in log that everything is working as expect that interview attempt failed not if that doesn't matter actually now we have working add-on so we are going to settings one more time but this time we need to go to devices and services and hit on add integration so hit here and type z-wave just like that and choose the first one z-wave but instead of add z-wave device just click on z-wave here and Take this, use the ZWFJS supervisor add-on, submit. You can see it's detected automatically. So, and no two, oh no, okay. And this is also two. So this is my one of the device, no two, I'm already detected. So lovely. And now we can change the name. And for example, um, that is something Crucial. Not status is dead just because the device is not 
alive. So what I need to do, I need to put battery here. I'm just this is something that I already tested here. Yeah. So like this and like this, but I would like to warn you about one simple thing that there will be an error. There will be an error here, uh, why? Just because there's, there is a problem with the device, because if it's not mounted, so inside this valve is working, so it's pushing and it's moving back and forth, and back and forth, yeah, and you know, it's checking if the device, if this thermostat is mounted correctly, and can it work properly, so it detects the inner valve, right? So this is really crucial. And because it's not mounted, so now it's blinking. So if you will see, it's blinking. Here we go. Excellent. So I will click on it, repair the device. And now it's blinking the red button and you can see ENS uh, is displayed. So it's something like, um, the beginning process. So after, I don't know, five to six minutes, uh, it will work correctly in Home Assistant. I mean, you will see the device, but the problem, because it's not mounted, uh, there will be an error on the display and you will see it in a moment. So now I see it's working correctly. And now you can see there is an error, error two, um, like this, now you can see it. Exactly. Uh, the uh, ER2 means that device is not mounted and properly, and because of that, we have this error. That is fine. However, if I will switch to browser, you can see the device is alive, and there is a note. So you can even click here and you can uh, modify the name. You have statistics, so you have history. So uh, I will just click on pencil and I will call it. For example, a bedroom thermostat or something like this. Uh, yeah, and it will be in a bedroom, right? Something like that, or even bedroom, just like that. Bedroom, bedroom is fine. It's in Polish language, the, the, the CPR, it means bedroom. And update. And yeah, rename it. Why not? And now you can see the device is located here and if we will go back here so we can see this Z-Wave USB stick Z-Wave Me so we can click on here and we can also rename it and we can rename it um I don't know um Z-Wave Wave USB control control dongle or something like this um yeah it's not not bad yes please and Go back here and now you can see the manufacturer is unknown model is unknown but the device is working as expected there is no error here and you can see we have an automation so we can choose an automation if you want to so we can create automation with the device we can create scenes we can uh, add script and also we have entities so command drop around uh, so we have these and also we have uh we can press it to uh become an available yeah and that is fine and i was testing it four hours ago so now it's triggered and it should work and it should connect and yeah that that's something really uh nice so we can detect the device and we can control it but because i do not have adapters that i presented previously and they will come tomorrow. So without these adapters, I will not be able to mount all those three thermostats into my uh, inner valves and uh, from her. So that's the problem. And I will be able to test it tomorrow to see the status. However, if we will click on configure, you can see everything is here. Our network is looking quite nice. And there's the diagnostic. So everything is logs and you can see log messages if you want to then you can choose the level of messages and here you have something like re-interview rebuild routes remove failed statistics something like this and yeah and 
we have 26 entities. So we have sensors also, climate bedrooms. I can see bedroom pink, current background, RC channel. So sensors, the wave dongle collisions and bedroom pink, node status, not much in my opinion. However, it should work. So 26 entities, it's not much. And what about integrations? And yeah, they are here and click here. And if you want to add another device, so I will just remove an upgrade from this one and I can put batteries into the next one device and I will try to pair it with my home assistant. Okay, so now I'm changing the device so the, this one that was the this is the one that i previously uh paired and now i'm trying to pair this one so you need to remove this and put batteries into the device like that and here we go just like that now we can see re5 something like this reset so click on this button and the, the blinking one and yeah and now death i mean and it should should change to ens now enc you can see it's now so we will go back to browser we will click add the device and you can see searching for devices so go back to camera and now you can see the uh, green is blinking so we will just hit it one more time and you can see now the final countdown uh, is on the screen and after 120 seconds so it will be um, connected so i will go to browser and you can see it's detected now properly so you can wait a little bit longer and then click on close and uh, go back to z-wave and you can see we have three devices now and you can see now it's really interesting because this one it's detected properly but there is a problem that the thermostat is missing manufacturer specific from a list of support modes that is interesting so i will have to figure it out what is going on here but the most interesting uh, information that we have much more information here. So I don't know if there's something wrong with this one thermostat or ooh, should I reset it? Um, I suppose yes, and I will have to figure it out how to make it work. But here you can see we have much more information. So we have air temperature, we have heat. So we, you know how exactly uh, what temperature uh, will be uh, uh, on our um thermostat so if we will set 22 um it will take uh, about the temperature and if there will be a temperature below then it will power on turn on i mean it will start heating and uh, below the um, temperature that you can see here that is set and what's more and we have also um configuration here we have node status battery level so not so bad and 95 percent of the battery level is um so yeah that that's how it looks like and you can see also the firmware version so uh connected via v-wave usb control dongle so you exactly know how it is connected so now it's working but i'm just wondering is there any option to just get rid of this and remove failed so this device remove is in progress we will try to get rid of it and now i will try to connect the next one device so i will remove batteries from this one and i will try to connect the third one device so i need all three devices to be here 